Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Oh, it's all about the seafood, baby. Now, cleaning and preparing shellfish might seem very intimidating, and to me, certainly it does. To most people, I know it does too. Uh, but we've got you covered because today, you know, Julie Carter, she is the man or the girl of the hour. She's going to be showing us how to clean and to de-beard these muscles in just a few minutes. Uh, but uh, to me, I'm sure you, like me, are wondering, what is this beard story? Maybe not so much you, because you're a chef. You well, know. not really, but I do like a man with a beard. But now if we're shaving it, I have to ask a lot of questions. Oh. You know, are we uh. using... How we are we actually taking the beard off? Is yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take the beard off the. We're gonna of course, take you have to make it here. about your man. <laughs> Sorry, Julie. Where is this beard, Julie? So it attaches the muscle to the rope that it grows on, and it's attached to the actual muscle that's inside the shell. So when does it grow? Like, how does it grow out? What, what does it signify? The about beard. The muscle? Yeah. <laughs> that it's ready or, uh, uh, or. Not really. I mean, it's how it's attaching itself to where it's growing, okay. to the rock or the rope or. So, as a plant mom, this would be the roots in essence, how it's rooting itself onto. No? Yeah, it's... no, you could say that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not, it's not alive, the, the beard. Oh, it's not okay. alive. That's why we're. Chucking it out. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, let's go. So that would be the first step in getting this ready for us. Well, we're going to first check our muscles and make sure that the muscles are good to use because okay. I, I noticed there's some here that are broken. Okay. So I wouldn't use um, any broken muscles because mm -hmm. you don't actually know how long they've been broken. Mm. It's very important that muscles are fresh. From, from picking to cooking, you've yeah. got maximum four to five days. Oh, my word. Maximum five days. Okay, so you have yeah. to really get onto it as quickly as possible. I've often I've seen people almost like farming muscles, like, you know, you'll be going to the beach and like you just turn to around the corner, people are busy, they're doing their thing. Surely that's not, any, that's not legal. Well, you are allowed to pick muscles, but you need a license. You okay. need to buy a license from the post office. So any one of us can go and buy yep. the license. Okay, that's yep. interesting. I'm about to become a farmer. <laughs> Tell me some Akubela. Farmer. <laughs> so yeah, as I said, I would take out any muscles that are broken and open. So this muscle is open. Yeah. You can just put it one side. If it closes, uh, you can use it because mm. it's still alive. But mm. if it doesn't close, then I wouldn't use it. Uh, and where do muscles sit, sorry, uh, to me, on, on, on the spectrum or the coloring, color coding? of sustainability. Uh, muscles are actually on the green list. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So Which it's means a nice, a good option. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you're just going to, like, um, scrape off some of the beard. Julie, That's... wait. I see this guy holding his, his waist here. We are uh, working together, my oh, friend. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, so, oh, OK. What, what can I help with? Can I plug <laughs> OK, what so... I, yeah? The first thing we do is we're going to clean off a bit of the outside of the muscle, mm -hmm. a little bit of the sh um, beard that's growing on the outside. I'm, like, not too careful about this because... It's not going to do you any harm, okay. right? Because, right. okay, Julie, I see some people also tend to use something like a scourer or yeah. something tough. Sure, you can that. use, a, obviously, a clean... Um, New, fresh one. Scour, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Clean the outside. Uh, I see Dumi is also getting busy there while we're busy shaving off the beards here. What are you doing, my dear? Are you also doing the same thing? I'm doing the same thing. I'm, I'm here for a master class when I tell oh, you. Oh, so okay. As okay. much as I like to cook with seafood okay. and shellfish and all of that, yeah. this is one of the important parts because the last thing you want, just like bones in your fish, mm. you don't want this on your muscle. You don't want to have, you don't want to be eating this while you're enjoying your muscles. So I just want to show you, mm. here's the beard and it's attached to the muscle. So you give it a little tug. And as you're tugging it, just cut it off. Okay, so we're pulling it downwards, out. Pulling it, yeah. Okay, okay. I like, see what you mean. Way, yeah. I see what you mean. You want to pull it slightly yeah, out of go, the yeah. muscle. Here's a nice big one over here. Well, unlike prawns, muscles seemingly are a lot easier yeah. to it, get rid of. Yeah, it is easy, and the families around get them to help. That's it. Drink a glass of wine. Ooh, <laughs> I mean, listen, it's that time of the year. You want to bring all of your loved ones together. There's nothing better than those memories we build yes. around food. Hey, Dumi, we oh. always say this. Memories built around food, it's always the best thing. Exactly, and that's what a lot of us, like some of us, I grew up cooking. Mm. with my mom, cooking with my family. So yeah. this is definitely the beginning of some memories for somebody. So frozen versus fresh, Julie. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, frozen mussels are also locally farmed. Mm -hmm. um, they are normally sold in the half shell. Mm. You don't have to clean them. So it's a lot easier. You just make your sauce and pop the mussels in. And our quality, our mussel quality is always excellent. So it's a good alternative. Where in South Africa are they mostly sort of farmed? 
So these are um, West Coast farmed mussels. Ah, the viscous. <laughs> Is it viscous? 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 West, West Coast. Coast. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love, I love all the oysters and all of those things that they uh, they come out with there. This is really stunning. Okay, so very, very simple. Uh, and so many inspiring recipes that you can find around this. And I know we've done, we've done lots of seafood on this show. You can catch that on Afternoon Express today. today. Be inspired to just elevate your seafood expression. <laughs> After the break, we're going to make a delicious garlic and lemon mussel pot. Now that's my kind of dish. Mm.